Broncos are on the road in San Francisco getting ready to play the 49ers this weekend. Game number two of the preseason. The Broncos traveled back to the site of their Super Bowl 50 win. And despite that, the coach still seems to be dodging our biggest question. Who will be the starting quarterback? Romy Bean here now with hopefully some insight for us. Well, probably not as much as you were hoping for. <laughs> but a little clarification. Nonetheless, different city, different stadium, same quarterback battle. Trevor Simeon and Paxton Lynch got a chance to practice against a defense that's not number one in the league yesterday. That's a good thing, but against the 49ers D, the story wasn't much different. In seven on seven red zone drills, Paxton had two completions for two touchdowns. He had a few misses, but he went for the big shots, got a couple scores. Trevor was five for five with one touchdown. His throws were controlled but short. Higher completion percentage than Paxton, but less points on the board. So I know, feels like the same old story watching these two every day, right? But Vance Joseph has a valid reason for waiting to name a starter. Former Broncos safety and current 49ers GM John Lynch was asked about the QB competition, and he said, quote, Paxton has those wow throws, but then it's just the consistency. Trevor is extremely consistent, and so I think the only way to let that, to let it happen, is to play out and see who rises to the top. Now, the Broncos and 49ers have another joint practice today. They'll just be in shells, not full pads. Coming up in 25 minutes, I'll take a look at the injuries on the defensive line, and we'll hear what Von Miller has to say about mm, it. I love that coach speak because it's... Really? It's like, what is he saying? Right. There? But, like, yes or no, yeah. coach? Yes Who is it going to be? I think the fact that he said permanent, though. Right. That yeah. was kind of the thing you took from it. Whoever he names as the starter for quarterback and for all the positions... Right. He wants it to stay that way. He doesn't want to change it in week two of the regular season. So the permanent was kind of the, the key, key word there. Mm -hmm. You know, he's very good at staying calm. It's it's all the fans. We want to know the answer to that question. Oh, yeah, because I, I think he has to look at it. It's a job. It's a business, mm -hmm. right? He can't make emotional decisions, so he tries to stay as neutral as possible. Right. But the fans are getting answers. Well, it right. gives us something to talk about. <laughs> sure does. All right. All right, Romy, we'll check back in with you at 545 this morning. Let's go to the Broncos right now, taking part in joint practices with the San Francisco 49ers. That's right. The coaches are hoping to come out of this with as little injuries as possible, but we already have a slew of them. Our Romy Bean is here now to talk more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, way too many injuries for preseason. So trying to kind of keep a hold on that mm. as they go to San Francisco. Now, the last time the Broncos were at Levi Stadium, if you remember, the confetti was falling, Lombardi Trophy was hoisted, and Von Miller was the MVP. The Broncos were crowned world champions. This time, they're just trying to get through preseason without more guys getting hurt. Here's what's happened in the past few weeks. T.J. Ward out with a hamstring. Billy Wynn suffers a season-ending injury. Derek Wolf carted off with an ankle sprain. Jared Crick carted off with a back injury. Add those to the list of guys on defense already out. Kyle Pecco, Shane Ray, Shaq Barrett. Way too many. But leave it to Von Miller to find the silver lining in all this. He sees it as a chance for others to step up. Broncos and 49ers have another joint practice today. Preseason game two is on Saturday night, and I'll be here tomorrow morning with your preview of that. Mm -hmm. Pick a quarterback, any quarterback. <laughs> we may find thing. out hopefully sooner than later. This game could sway the votes. Yeah, okay, could. and of course fans want to see all the good players, the young players out there on the field who are trying to make a name for themselves.